Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutoy's channel. Okay, uh, this time around, I want to show you the recent release from HKM. Their first casting for the uh, Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Uh, two variant uh, immediately came out together. Um, there's, it has been a slight difference with the uh, pre-order photos actually. Uh, this one seems to be fine, similar to the pre-order photo, but this is not. I remember the pre-order photo being uh, in matte red, but right now what I have in my hands is actually in uh, gloss red. Okay, so packaging wise, HKM, nothing to shout about, everything is uh, pretty standard, pretty, uh, yeah, just some uh, word of caution, you know, this is not a toy, 14 years old and above, nothing going on at the back. On top, just scale 164 and then the HKM um, logo in front and that is the uh, the Porsche name on the back um, inner sleeve, okay. So without further ado, let's just get this one straight out of the box. <laughs> Sorry I tried to peel the tape off, okay. So here we go. Um, our click box is pretty standard as well, without double screws, okay. Um, size wise, the feel wise, this I think is pretty standard. Uh, there is a, a metal plate here, uh, Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Now the thing about uh, these packaging is really very um, OEM, so they can just you know recycle this plate uh, for any of the other variants, even for the packaging. It doesn't state, um, you know, which goes to to uh, for which uh, variant. All right, <clears throat> so. <laughs> Actually, when I got it, I, I thought that it does look quite okay because from the photos, it does look quite okay because this is actually a new casting for, for them. And uh, I can't recall right now, HKM is part of which brand because uh, most of these uh, China brands, right, that uh, I've been reviewing, um, they are probably part of another bigger brand. For example, like uh, Breeze Scale and then uh, I believe Star Model, they are, they are, they are part of um, Time Micro. So when I say part of Time Micro, it could be uh, using the same factory, but uh, you know maybe some other party wanted to make that car, and and um, they, they kind of commissioned a uh, Time Micro to do it. Okay, so double screws. I'm never a fan of diecast models that use double screws because I yeah it's usually quite a hassle to take it out and put it back. However, it does look quite good actually. Just zoom in a bit more. It does look quite good, huh? Uh, the printing, the printing, the print job on uh, on the car itself. Okay, this China <laughs> racing livery. That I I still think probably in matte it will look much better. Uh, that's the thing about the pre-order. So this is a uh, China flag, the China uh, red K with its uh, stars. The Porsche name on the spoiler. It does feel quite solid actually. The rims are actually quite nice. Um, well, they're not exactly smooth, but uh, you can still turn them. Are there brick discs in there? It, uh, no, I don't think there's any disc, brick disc details in there. Okay, it's just covered in uh, black. However, it seems the back wheel can roll, but the front seems to be rubbing with the body. Okay, I do quite like this detail as per the uh, GT2 uh, RS, done nicely, and the hood detail as well, that's nice. Actually, the print job is actually quite impressive, um, and I kind of I kind of hope that, you know, on the left and right, it's a different, different design, but uh, it looks like it's the same. So there's some cloud going on at the back here as well. Nice. Actually, not bad at all. Okay, uh, Porsche.cn, Mobile One. The tiger and the dragon in the clouds. Pirelli logo there. So up front, the grills look quite good actually. The grill details. The headlamp is a separate piece. It's a probably a lens. Okay, interior wise, <coughs> even though huh, you can see a little bit of detail here and there. You can see some details on the on the seats. Okay, that's a uh, proper bucket seats. Okay, that's uh, the passenger seat as well, so it's not a pure track car. Uh huh. Um, there's still a roll cage in there. Okay, so side view does look quite okay. And then we go to the back. Uh, I do quite like this spoiler. Is uh, the wing, the GT wing, is a separate piece, makes it much more realistic. Okay, the <coughs> ducktail 
uh, detail is done as well tail lights I think done not bad as well the twin pipes at the back very big twin pipes <laughs> here um, it does look like a little bit like a button right but I think it looks quite okay okay so this would be the the, the, the China livery variant okay and then we'll go to the supreme livery version you know what I'm just gonna cut it off because peeling it seems to <laughs> be so much of a hassle okay so two variants uh, okay so help me hit the like button okay because uh, that will help me out with the uh, YouTube algorithms right and uh, I do have a couple of extras of these they're available through collectors cube okay they're on Facebook Instagram and TikTok do look them up on uh, those social medias they do have their own website as well, cocube.com. I'll put it in the description below. You can actually purchase it uh, through there or you can walk into their store in um, MCOT Mall, PJ, Malaysia. All right. They do, oh, they do ship uh, international. Yeah, so the, there's the cushion rubbery thing. They just drop off. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Actually, not bad at all okay not bad at all overall casting is actually quite okay right so this one does have that this brake though the brake caliper the detail is in there so somehow they didn't do it on the on this version on neither side okay I think I, I do see it now um, the caliper is on this side can you see it there's a little bump there that's a caliper but they didn't detail it so it's in black so this caliper is uh, right here roughly at three o'clock yeah I do see it now there's a little caliper there so strange they should have done it for for the, the China variant actually but they didn't unfortunately oh these uh, during pre-order it does come it you are able to select to order with the figure but uh, I went ahead and went um, without the figure the racer figure uh, if I recall correctly, he's holding a helmet, I think. But uh, yeah, I thought that these kind of work alone. They don't need the figures. So there's a Vance logo here. Yep, on both sides. This one has a Michelin logo uh, instead of the Pirelli on the other one. Well, the Supreme font seems to be... I don't think this is the real Supreme font. It does look a little bit off. Alright. Nice. Oh, okay. The side mirror is actually soft. It's a separate piece similar to what Mini GT does. Uh, however, these are priced... Well, what are they now? I think they are double of Mini GT. Um, below Mini Cham though. So... Um, is it compar comparable to Mini Cham? Well, Mini Cham being able to roll quite smoothly actually. See, this one is still stuck. But the disc brake doesn't turn together. That's good. Um, that's the thing. The front set of wheels seems to be rubbing off the body uh, but the rear wheel seems to be okay something wrong with the uh, the fender design i guess nice quite a nice intake uh, detail here as well what else what else can i tell you okay from the front supreme the proportion wise actually does look quite okay it does look quite good actually white colors side mirrors so yeah, I do quite like that they did the, the caliper properly on this one. Quite a solid build. Quite a solid build. Okay, two variants that came out together. All right. Um, hang on, give me a sec. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this video. All right. I'm not gonna pause. You can skip in front. Um, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a mini sham and, and and park it next to it and see how it goes. I do have a mini shank, the, this is a, I have a mini GT here, so just pack it, just to compare size, it does look quite okay, so that's a mini GT, the Turbo S, and uh, the GT3, okay, from mini Sham. It the mini Sham one does look more refined, um, somehow I, I, yeah, probably I look forward to see, I look forward to see the 
plain version of the of these. Um, quite a few brands will be doing that. Uh, will be doing these Porsches. I think GT2 and GT3 RS. Um, Film. I know Filmi is doing. Uh, there's I think Street Weapon. Um, or is it Stance Hunter and, and oh everyone else. Okay, so those are, I think coming later in in, in the year. So size wise, I think they're actually quite comparable. Yeah, they can actually still park next to each other, even with the uh, with the Mini GD. Alright. Alright, so I think they're quite okay. Priced in between um, the Mini GD and the Mini Champ. Cool. Alright, so that's it for this time around. Uh, remember to hit the like button, okay? And then uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss on, on any of my other Dakar's videos. I do have a couple of extras of these available through Collector's Cube. Alright, coolcube.com. Um, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.